in this problem just let me clarify a bit the language is little bit confusing here when he says v dash t that is with respect to disk see phi dash is relative to disk and the same dash is here so v dash is also with respect to disk so if you were not able to solve because you were thinking this v dash t is with, is with respect to ground then you can probably try this problem again and come back to the solution so yeah read the problem first man of mass m1 stands on the disk of mass m2 and radius r so this yellow shaped star let this be our man now the man starts moving along the edge of the disk and he shifts over an angle phi dash phi dash relative to the disk so let's say this man travels counterclockwise and it covers an angle theta 1 and the disk goes back with that to an angle theta 2 so it's given that theta 1 plus theta 2 is phi dash now in the process the velocity of the man varies with time as v dash t so this is with respect to disk he is traveling with the velocity v dash t and finally he has stopped so here his velocity is zero now we need to find the angle through which the disk has turned when he, is, when he has stopped and the torque with which the man acted on the disk so to find the angle through, through which the disk has turned so this is something the perfect analogy for that is when you have a boat and a man problem so if the man will go towards right the boat will go towards left and the center of mass remains at rest so here something similar which we will do so uh, we cannot use the term center of mass but you can imagine that uh, uh, <laughs> the, the analogy of that in this system okay let's see this it will be more clear so internal forces because the when man is walking on the disc the frictional force is internal so change in angular momentum must be zero so i1 omega 1 is i2 omega 2 omega 1 is it can be written as d theta 1 by dt omega 2 is d theta 2 by dt i'm just uh, neglecting the signs now so i1 integral d theta 1 is equal to i2 integral d theta 2 or i1 theta 1 is equal to i2 theta 2 so now you can see the analogy that is similar to center of mass which is at rest so again the boat and the man problem where what we do is ma into xa so both this xa and xp both are relative to the ground so mass of a into displacement of a is equal to mass of b into displacement of b similarly here also theta 1 and theta 2 are with respect to ground so i1 theta 1 is equal to i2 theta 2 so obviously theta 1 and theta 2 are in opposite directions from the original direction so here also wherever the center of mass is the center of mass will remain at rest and if the man travels towards left with xa then boat will towards, travel towards right with xp so similarly the i1 whichever has i1 if it that is getting changed by theta 1 then the direction of the object with i2 will get changed with direction theta 2 so that the overall analogous to center of mass in rotation will remain at the same position i hope <laughs> i am just think about it you will get it so even otherwise mathematically also we have derived i1 theta 1 is equal to i2 theta 2 so about o i1 theta 1 is equal to i2 theta 2 so i1 for the disk is m r square sorry this for the man so m1 into r square theta 1 is equal to for the disk m2 r square by 2 theta 2 so we have two equations and two variables theta 1 and theta 2 and we need to find angle through which the disk has turned so that is theta 2 so we solve it and get the answer now coming to the second part we need to find the torque as a function of time with which the man is acting on the disk so v dash t is given with respect to disk we need to find the torque on the disk so whatever the torque on the disk is that's only rotating it with the angle theta 2 
So the theta two is the extreme, but I don't want to use another variable. So let me again use theta two. So in between also, let's say it is that angle is theta two, the angle turned by the disc. So we need the torque. So torque we know is I alpha. So torque on the disc is I disc into alpha, and alpha of the disc will be d two theta two by d t square. Now I can take theta two from here. So again, let's uh, consider the theta two as well as phi dash as variables, because I was short of space also, and I don't want to use new variables. So let's say by the angle it has turned, by the time it has turned a small angle theta two, the relative angle between the man and the disc is phi dash. So we put that here. So d two theta two by d t square is d by d t of d theta two by d t. So when we put that, we get uh, I will be m two r square by two into two m one by m two plus two m one into d by d t of phi dash. Now they have given v dash t. So if this is with respect to disc, then v dash is r d phi dash by t t. So just imagine that. See v dash t is d x by d t. Where x will be the relative movement, and that relative movement is r d phi dash. So v dash is equal to r d phi dash by d t. So that's why we have divided and multiplied this r d phi dash by d t by r. So r d phi dash by d t is v dash. And one r r is of course constant, so it will get cancelled, and you will get this answer. So. Just go through this problem a few times, I guess. This concept, this analogous to moment of center of mass, is going to be useful a lot. All right.